of Persons of the Week. It is a story that began almost 65 years ago in the darkest days of World War II. Yet this week, a new chapter unfolded, an unforgettable reunion of Holocaust survivors and the American troops who freed them, and all made possible by a high school history class. This is history coming alive. Here we are. We have arrived. This is walking, talking, living history. They're shaking hands with the past. It was 2001 when high school history teacher Matt Roselle decided to begin an oral history project. He and his students would just interview family members in the small town of Hudson Falls, New York, to capture fading stories of World War II. Did you yep. mention the train at all? Just before? No, I didn't tell them about the train. The students unearthed a forgotten crossroads in history. Near the very end of World War II, April 13, 1945, the American 30th Infantry Division was pushing its way into central Germany. We came uh, uh, to a, a place where, where there was a long train of boxcar. They found a train holding nearly 2,500 emaciated Jewish prisoners many just children, this is Belsen. being moved from the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp to another camp and certain death. Their German guards had just abandoned them, fleeing the Americans. A feeling of, of helplessness. What are we going to do with all these people? We had never, ever seen anything so uh, filthy. The American soldiers fed the prisoners and brought them to safety. For 42 years, I collected anything that I could to try to find any article regarding the train. It just didn't exist. But Mr. Roselle's class put their interviews with veterans up on a website, along with these photographs taken by the American soldiers. Just very courageous people. The little girls who with the big smiles on their faces, woman with her arms out, uh, and just aware that the Americans are there. Out there, on the web, Holocaust survivors all around the world began to notice. How many people will have a picture of their moment of liberation forever? A reunion of survivors and their liberators took place this week at Hudson Falls High School. When they speak to us, you can't say that you feel how they felt, but you get the feeling. You feel like you were there. In an age where there are still those who deny the Holocaust ever existed, these survivors say they are the living proof. It's not for my sake, it's the sake of humanity that they will remember. And so we choose history teacher Matt Rizal, his class, the Holocaust survivors of that train, and those American soldiers who kept them and their story alive. Can you read this slide? Raise your hand if you know where this comes from. Raise your hand now. Some of you are my students. This comes from a Holocaust denier website that targets uh, my World War II Living History Project, in particular the train near Magdeburg story. I know many of our survivors were hurt and offended by this, as were the liberators, because what this individual did two years ago when we did our first reunion he put up a fake website and he basically made it look like everything that we were saying was a lie, could be disproven, that this never happened. This Holocaust was a total exaggeration, if not a total, total fabrication. The first year that I actually uh, ran the first reunion, the Associated Press picked up the story. It went worldwide. And on the Saturday morning following the Friday, it was a one-day show, um, it was the lead story on Yahoo webpage, and our website got 20,000 hits over that weekend. Now, we haven't got that many for what's happened this week yet. I got hundreds and hundreds of emails from people supporting the World War II Living History Project for bringing the liberators together with the survivors and for keeping the memory of the past, particularly the Holocaust of World War II, alive. But I also had three emails from people um, who said that I was a total loser, 
that the Holocaust never happened, that you really should read this book because it explains everything. In other words, Holocaust deniers. And one of the things that we try to do as United States Holocaust Museum teacher fellows is to point out to fellow teachers that in a post-liberator, post-soldier, and post-survivor world within the next 10, 15 years, that movement is only going to grow stronger and stronger. As was mentioned previously by Steve Barry, the United Nations this week, the president of Iran spoke, and he is a notorious Holocaust denier. So this movement is only going to increase as time goes on. If you Google the Holocaust, every fifth or every third website will be one that denies that the Holocaust ever took place. This is a fact. This is what this person wrote, and his website is still out there. So you need to know, as students, what you witnessed this week. You witnessed something very historic that happened here at our high school. But you also are the last generation to hear from both the liberators and the survivors. They will be gone, unfortunately, by the time you have children. It is therefore your obligation to carry the memory forward. As Kylie James said in her song, this is for remembrance. We have to remember and we have to act. You all got these little cute little silicone wristbands with their school colors this week? It says, remember the Holocaust and prejudice and hatred. Well, that's all very nice and very fine. But don't be a bystander. That's what you can do. Everybody can make a difference. I'm really happy and proud that I could see my friends again, my old friends, the 30th Infantry Division soldiers, my survivor friends who I've known for a few years, some of whom I've just met this week. I've been very proud and pleased to be able to bring them together. I'm so happy that our school district has supported this effort 1,010% by allowing us three days to put on six separate shows so that you could hear these speakers. You could hear the author Rob Miller. You could hear Lev Raphael because they also are keeping the memory of the past alive. Thank you so much for your support and please remember. Thank you.